Yeah, and for me, it's it's putting the world on notice too. And I've I've done it for the past two years where I've kind of come in, and I know Josh said it the other night where I kicked down the door, but I feel like I've breached down that door uh, for the opportunities that I've been given, and I've taken the ball and running with it, and not looking back. And that's kind of what's led me to the Impact World Title of beating all the former world champions that I have, and beating Chris Saban and Jay White on the same night last year at Rebellion. And that's one of those things where I have a chip on my shoulder as well, but it's also that door is going to be breached again now when I'm walking out of rebellion as the impact world champion. It's a different look and people are going to realize that I'm one of the best in the game. All right. So you're, you're obviously confident going into the match. I'm going to ask this question as if you are impact world champion, you already have it in your head. What's your first order of business? What's your first action as champion? I'm going to put the world on notice, uh, whatever I say. And I'm, I don't know how I'm going to feel after I win. And even uh, the possibility of their losing is there too. I know that, but to go in confidently, why wouldn't I, uh, it's the biggest match in my career. I, why would, why would I go in with doubt? But, um, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to feel. I'm going to be very excited, probably very emotional on the inside as well of having this moment of being the impact world champion, lack of a better term, not be forgotten no more and have a reason to be remembered. Uh, so it's one of those things where I'm just going to feel it out the next week on TV or maybe even that night say something. So we'll see. But uh, any and all comers uh, that want to challenge me for the Impact World title when I am the champion, uh, please 